All right, uh, Coach, let's uh, talk about that regional and that finale with Duke. Just talk, tell me about that Sunday game and, and kind of the back and forth and really how that's going to help your team here moving forward to the Supers. Uh, it was a really fun game, and it was fun to just see the team continue to respond, uh, you know, in the in the moments where we went down, you know, to just keep coming back and coming back and coming back and having the belief and the faith that we could do it. It was a great game. It was a good regional. I thought he played a really good game. I think they're a really good team. Uh, but just super proud of our team for their grit and their fight and, you know, figuring out a way to get it done. You know, at, at the end of the day, you, you know, you try to get the best offense, the best defense, and the best, best pitching you can get done. Uh, you know, you got to continue to – if you. If one part doesn't happen, then you go get it in another part, and then you keep fighting to find a way to get it done um, on the field. I thought Sid Chamley was really fun because we went down. We were up, I don't know, by three runs or something early, and then we went down by several runs, and she came into the dugout, and she was just like, hey, guys, we're going to do this. She got the team together, and she's like, I can feel this. We're doing awesome. She's super positive, and and just to see the team just like, you know, just almost like it just took the, the weight off of everybody, and everybody just freed it up and went out and played softball. Is that what you noticed from from the SEC tournament concluding to the regional? Is that what you changed with the team there within that week? I think we got to get in some good practice. You know, I think uh, Coach Tony did a really good job uh, working with the hitters and having uh, figuring out a good plan that would work against uh, the opponents in that regional. Uh, and and it, and it was nice to actually get like you know three four days in a row of really good training. And I think that that really paid off. And the girls. You know, I have to say a lot to them. The, the biggest credit to them is the fact that during the stretch when things were going our way is that they stayed strong together. You know, nobody ended up pointing fingers and being negative and just, you know, just staying resilient and knowing that, you know, if we just continue to work and work and work, that good things would happen. And so I'm proud of them for knowing that if they just stayed strong, stayed the course, uh, that they could find a way to get it done. And I'm just really proud of the team. I think, you know, this team is really special. They're, they're very young. We have some really good leaders within the team. Uh, but just the fact that they just keep battling, you know, that makes me so proud. They're just really special girls. Well, it wouldn't be a postseason run without running into an SEC team, and in particular in Florida. It seems like this happens every few years. Uh, as, a, as someone who's been in the game, do you wish that the committee would look into that? I've talked to Coach Weekly about this because Tennessee, every time they got to a Super Regional, they would get paired up with an SEC team. Is this something you wish as coaches, you kind of, the committee would look into that and try to avoid these kind of interconference matchups? Yeah, I mean, you know, I really, I do agree with that. I do think that, you know, it makes it feel more like it's, it feels like a conference series. I know that there's more on it, but it does feel like conference series. This is what we do like every weekend throughout the year. And, uh, you know, we have a great rivalry with Florida. So it's, you know, it's one of those games you, you look forward to playing. But it is the, the fun thing about also the regional was that it was different people, people we didn't know. Uh, and so that kind of made it feel more like postseason, where this kind of feels more like conference, um, even though the World Series is on the other side of it. You know, I do think, the, and I feel like it's a way for them to assure more conferences to get into the NCAA. I don't know for sure what they do or why they do what they do. Uh, I'm sure it has to do with strength schedule and all that stuff, but, you know, it does feel um, like it's manipulated a little bit to have more representation across the country in the, in the final eight. Five years ago, you played the same super regional. It was a memorable super regional when you knocked them off and you got to the women's college world series what do you re what do you remember from that super regional five years ago that you know got you to Oklahoma City? It was a pretty memorable super regional for the people that watched it. I think you know a lot of the same. Just you know, a lot of it was just the the positive mindset and the belief that let's go out there and play George softball that we can scrap and fight and find a way to get it done. But probably the most memorable thing for me was that it was Kaylee Payola that hit the that hit the bomb uh, because. Again, we had had a good week of training at that point, and it, it went really well, but Kaylee had been a, a starter for us, and that year she moved into the role as a pinch hitter, and she used to worked hard and worked hard and worked hard and was very positive and kind of like Sydney Chamley was last weekend, just in the sense that, like, you know, she there's a kid who got moved out of a starting position, accepted her role, and then had the opportunity with two strikes to get to, to do something big and was able to do it. It's a moment that I will never forget personally just because – of the way that she fought through the adversity through the year and was still able to have a great mindset 
a great attitude, wanted to do whatever she could do to help the team and then had the opportunity and was able to capitalize on it. So it was a very special team. And the fact that, you know, they had a great mindset, but man, for that to happen for Moose is what we call her, Kaylee Pailula. You know, it was just something special that I will never, ever forget. Yeah, it's one of the great mo memorable moments in postseason history in the sport. I mean, that everybody remembers where they were when that happened there. Uh, where does that rank in your career in that moment? To you know, it's not only to get to the women's college world, but it's such a dramatic way to get into it. it. It was really fun. You know, there's 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 a lot of moments that I that that stand out to me, and that's absolutely on the you know the the high part of the list. And it, it, again, the the amount of emotion that the whole team felt not for Moose, it, I mean, it was fun. They were going to the World Series. That was why we've been working all year long, but for her to be the one to get it done, just, it really just took it to another level for all of us. Obviously this year you played in Athens earlier in the year. How much do you go back to that series in preparation for this weekend? Or how much do you kind of not go back because, you know, Florida is probably different. You're different now than you were back then. Uh, definitely. I think that, you know, teams, they are, it's in a wave, you know, things happen in a wave. Uh, I feel like, you know, we've looked over that information, but again, we're here now and we need to focus on what we're doing now and just compete, play the game hard. What stands out from Florida now that you see them now that when, since you've seen them in Athens? You know, I have to give, you know, give them a lot of credit. They're a really good team. They're extremely well coached. Uh, the uh, pitching coach has done an outstanding job with their pitchers, with their staff and the way that they work their staff. Um, Tim obviously always does a great job uh, with the team overall, a uh, really good motivator, really good teacher. So I don't know, it's, it seems a very much a similar team. They're playing hard. They play the game the, the right way and just looking forward to getting out there and, and battling it out. You've battled against Coach Walton for so many years. What stands out about him that makes him so successful as what he's done over there in Florida? I think he just has a really good, um, I think his plan from day one, uh, teaches his kids to be prepared for uh, the last day and he's a really good teacher. And, you know, the, the teaching is uh, preparing those kids to be able to be successful at the end of the day, not just in that game. When you look at this matchup, what's going to be the keys for your team to be successful in this series? Yeah, continue just to be resilient focus on what we're doing. Uh, trust the plan at the plate and get good swings off. Well, Coach, uh, good luck this weekend. Uh, appreciate the time. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. All right.